Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. This is not a Thursday Theorist. The Thursday Theorist should be after this video. But this is a spoiler-free review of Stephen King's new book, Elevation. Um, if you follow me on Goodreads or Twitter or just about anywhere, even Instagram, you know I hated this book. Um, it has the same exact problem that Sleeping Beauties did in that at some point in time he gets lost in his message and forgets to entertain. Uh, there's not one point part in this book that I liked. I didn't like the writing. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like anything about it. Um, I am on the same political spectrum side of things as Stephen King. And also, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, if there's any discussion whatsoever about politics down in the, uh, in the comment section of this, I'm just going to delete you. I don't want to start any kind of political debate. That's not what this channel is about. So please either don't comment this one time don't comment because I could care less about your political views um, I want to know if you liked the book for what it was um, if you didn't like the book because of the politics just simply say I didn't like the book because of the politics but the the, the problem here is I didn't like the book because of where it goes I will go into I will go into more detail in the spoiler review or the Thursday theorist video but this book just isn't any fun um, Stephen King supposedly wanted to write this to try and uh, make people happy. The thing about it is he's only going to make a certain subset of people happy. And when you're only shooting for your, your pools, you know, the people in your pool to have fun, you know, I think that's a dick move. Um, and that's all this book is. Uh, at, on the same, the same side, if you're the type of person who liked skipping Christmas, and you know you like John Grisham stuff and you like skipping Christmas you'll probably like this because it's more the same it's basically an author trying to say okay I'm usually I usually talk about the worst things in life but here's me trying to do a positive thing and that's fine if you try to be positive for everybody if you're only aiming at one group of people to make one group of people smile and that's where I, I call bullshit there is nothing in this book that says you know all people should get along. There's nothing in this book that says that. This book's message is everybody needs to be accepted. Everybody, you know, needs to see the error of their ways and come on to this side. Now, while I might agree with that, go ahead, rage, rage down there in the comment section. Like I said, you make it political, I'm going to delete you. But I am on that side of things. I don't like that side of things in my art or my literature, whatever you want to call it. I don't like that direct approach. A long time ago in one of my written reviews, in fact, somebody brought this up um, on my review of Elevation on Goodreads, I said in a review that I would never, ever give a Stephen King book one star. That's because they're usually well written, there's usually something entertaining about it, but this, this is a complete toss away. This is something that I, I read and I was like, I, I actually hate this. Um, which is funny, again, because I'm on the same side as Stephen King. I am, if you want to, if you want to label me anything, I am a liberal. This book is garbage, and I'm a liberal. Liberal. Now, another problem with this book is it's 146 pages. You see how small this is? I'm going to hold up a full-size Stephen King book. You see the difference, the size difference? This book right here, I just grabbed the first one I had over here for the next video I'm going to be shooting is 368 pages. The price of this book is $27.99. This book is 146 pages. Huge margins, big font. This book is $20. If you went down to Barnes Noble, Books a Million, whatever, and bought this, this book is $20. Luckily, I bought this book on Amazon. I got it for $11, but that's still overpriced for what is essentially a padded short story. Now the book is broken up um, into uh, shorter, shorter. Uh, well, the one chapter is really long, and then there's a bunch of shorter chapters. The audio book literally comes with extra short stories because there is no short stories in here. But the audio book comes with extra short stories because without them, the book would the book would only be three hours long. Anyways, there's so much wrong with this. I could go on forever, but I'm trying to keep this as a spoiler, spoiler free review. I'm trying my best here. I didn't like a single thing about it. If you'd like to talk about the book without bringing politics into this nonsense, please 
Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Even if you liked it, that's fine. But once again, don't go off on a tangent about politics, even if you are on the same side as Stephen King and myself. Okay? I just don't want to hear it. Or I don't want to read it. Anyways. So until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.